What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And today I want to address something that a lot of the viewers and subscribers, especially during Tool Test Raw, say. Now, if you don't know what a Tool Test Raw is, it's when we put two tools, sometimes of a different manufacturer, sometimes of the same manufacturer, two different tools to compete against one another. It's like that thing on Apple Play or something where you could pit two dinosaurs. My nephew plays that. Two dinosaurs, they fight and all, and you see who wins. It's kind of the same thing. It's interactive. We put two tools, two beasts, mammoth tools against one another, and you are in control. If you don't know what Tool Test Roll is, you can go on over to this playlist here. The problem is, to be in control, you got to be on the stream when it's live. You can't be on the stream afterwards when it's not live and screaming at it, drive it this way, drive it that way. We can't hear you. Even if you typed it in the comment section, the show's over. It doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore, okay? So you got to be, if you want it to be like the dinosaur thing that you probably play, or boxy, or whatever it is, you want to be in control. You have to be on the stream live. You have to type in your comments what you want us to do. That's how it works. But we want to address something about the testing and things that you talk about. A lot of you say that pre-drilling isn't necessary with fasteners. And we want to address that today. We're going to give you a lowdown where it is and where it isn't, what you should do and what you shouldn't do, possibly. And it's coming right up after this word from our sponsor. Now, here's the deal. Now, when it comes to our testing, all right, we, when we drive, for instance, these 316s fasteners here, okay, we don't pre-drill, but if you were to drive these fasteners and some of these other size fasteners, for instance, these, these, half, these half inch fasteners, if you were to drive these, okay, into this test media or work media, okay, without pre-drilling, there's a large likelihood, a high likelihood, you are going to split this wood. If this is a structural member, for instance, and you were, you were bolting those structural members together without pre-drilling, and you, and you break or split that member, that's it. The holding power, even the structural member, degradation is what's going to happen. It's not going to be useful. So you're going to want to find yourself a drill bit, okay, that is slightly smaller than the size of your fastener, okay? You're going you're gonna to match it up. And what you want is you want to drill in a space into the member, okay, that will allow the core of the bolt to rest in, but the spiral corkscrewing portion of the fastener, the screw part, okay, that's going to lock into the surrounding wood. Does that make any sense? You see what I mean there? So I'm going to show you. We're going to drill twice, okay? Matter of fact, we're going to put a single hole there, okay? Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to drive that fastener. Okay. We did have some, some chipping here at the top. We're not splitting this 2x4. And this is a big fastener to be driving through a 2x4. Now, okay, if we were to do that again and not pre-drill, just my luck, it wouldn't crack, okay? But you can't hear it. You can see the stress fracture running along here. But the reality is, fastener this large, number one, it's gonna take more effort if you don't pre-drill it, okay? Number two, the likelihood is 
is that it's going to it's going to break this wood. It's going to snap this wood. So you're going to want when it comes to these larger fasteners, you're going to want to mission critical situations. You're going to want to pre-drill for these lag fasteners. When do you not have to pre-drill for lag fasteners? Well, I'm going to show you. This is a situation, and this, this is a quarter inch lag with a truss head. These are lag fasteners. They're recognized by, the, by building code. Okay, these are a structural lag. They have a self-drilling style tip that allows you to put these in quickly, efficiently, and not have to save, it saves you the step of pre-drilling. Now, does it have the same strength as this half inch lag? I'm not saying that, but this is an instance. You wouldn't need to pre-drill for this fastener. It's not required. Now, if you're in a bit of a hurry, you needed to set that fastener a little bit faster. Okay. Could use something a little bit more powerful. Okay, as you can see, those lags, they dry fast quickly and keep you moving compared to a conventional style lag that would need to be pre-drilled. Another instance where you wouldn't have to pre-drill for fasteners is when you're driving things like sheetrock screws. Yes, literally through drywall into they're stud. You, you don't need the pre-drill for that. Okay, you, all you got to do is just, obviously we're playing make-believe here, but okay, you would set your, your screw okay, on, your, on your drywall. And you see, there's no, there's no reason to pre-drill at all. Well, maybe there is. <laughs> Another time, you don't need to pre-drill is if you were using wood screws. You're joining a couple pieces of wood together and you have even like this number 10 screw. This is a three inch number 10 screw, okay? You'll see it, it's pretty much dr driven effortlessly and there's no splitting. If you were to try to, I don't know, let's just say drive gold screws or even deck screws or, or something of that nature. And they weren't self-drilling with a self-drilling head like this fastener. You, you, a lot of instances, would need to pre-drill to be more effective and efficient. Now these new style fasteners take out the, a lot of time of having to pre-drill before setting your screw. Now, here's the, the aha for everybody, okay? And quite frankly, I had a couple pieces of oak and a couple pieces of maple in the back room. I wanted to demonstrate this, but uh, ah, they went missing. I don't know how it happens, but there is one time, okay, that I still feel, and, and these are specifically made to drive in hardwoods, okay? And quite frankly, if you were going to use these to join cabinetry together, okay, these are an inch and three quarter screw, the face style of cabinetry. Once you clamp them together, you would pre-drill and drive your screw. Now here's the deal. These screws are made to specifically, it says not pre-drill in hardwoods, but the reality is, is that this is one of those times where hardwoods like maple, oak, cherry. Number one, they're very expensive. Number two, I wouldn't want to risk cracking a cabinet. I just don't want to. And number two, even if you're able to do all in one driving of the screw and it has a drilling head, the thing is, is that when you pre-drill a pilot hole in things like cabinetry, you're, you're, you're starting the course of the fastener so it doesn't veer off, turn, come out the face of a cabinet. So this is one of those times 
even though a screw is self-drilling, no drilling required, you would still want to pre-drill before you went ham. And if you like using caution and pre-drilling before going ham with your driller driver, then smash the like button, because quite frankly, that's good advice. Also, if you're not already, you're gonna wanna get subscribed and tap the bell. And why do you wanna do that? Because. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. I hope the advice is helpful, because you know, quite frankly, it probably could save a lot of people a little bit of money, or a couple of people a lot of money. Cherry cabinets are very expensive. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.